So we have uh, one of the rookie MPPs who made it into the Doug Ford cabinet uh, was Michael Tobolo. Uh, Michael Tobolo was elected for the first time on June 7th from the uh, uh, riding of Vaughn Woodbridge. Um, Michael Tobolo is a lawyer, uh, been in practice uh, a long time, and early supporter of Doug Ford's. I think he may have act he may have been the first candidate, not not incumbent. Mm -hmm. He may have been the first candidate. They came out and endorsed and supported uh, Doug Ford. So, good call. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, he is uh, now the Minister of Community Safety and Correctional Services. So again, an important role, mm -hmm. but not one that garners a lot of media attention until something goes wrong. Yeah. Then it gets a lot of attention. So given the kind of summer that we've had in Toronto, for example, this, this year, um, this is the minister in charge of the provincial jails and correctional system and provincial policing. And, uh, and within the, the PC platform, there were already some commitments in this particular area. There was uh, a commitment to restore the funding to the, uh, the anti-gun and um, anti-gang task force, I can't remember the exact name for it, uh, um, that, that had been cut. So that's, that's going to be falling under this portfolio, as well as uh, issues like carding and uh, <coughs> um, uh, you know, similar policing issues are going to be uh, within this, this ministry's purview and, and certainly have been given an indication that these are uh, on, uh, certainly high on the radar uh, of the government coming in. So on the Canada Day long weekend in the city of Toronto, 10 people mm -hmm. were hit by gunfire. Some of them died. Yeah. The mayor who is facing his own re-election in October has come out quite strongly and said, we need the federal and provincial governments to work with us. We've got to do something here. So I suspect that pretty soon, if not already, Minister Tobolo and our new Attorney General, Caroline Mulroney, are going to be pressed into service to figure something out here because mm -hmm. I think we are now on pace to pass New York in terms of gun related homicides like rate wise yeah. um, in 2018 so again certainly not a distinction that uh, anyone would would cherish no so here you are you know you kind of you like politics you run you win you want to be a cabinet minister you're a cabinet <laughs> minister here you go here, go deal with this yeah. now figure out a way that fewer people get shot uh, in Toronto. So, look, we, we, we're not make, meaning to make light of the situation, but sometimes uh, this happens to people that run for elected office. They have, are charged with dealing with really serious things early on. And difficult things. Yeah. Right? So you get sworn in on June 29th, and on July 2nd, you're being called upon to find a solution for this. So. Um, we wish Minister Tobolo well. It's, uh, it's certainly the timing of, of his appointment to this role in Cabinet um, is uh, one that makes the job much more interesting than it might have been, say, in the past. Um, but we'll see how he makes out and um, wish him well.